This movie was weird. This movie was goofy. It was interesting. I'm in Silent and I saw Dark Man. It is directed by Sam Raimi. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This was requested by Patreon. Also sponsored by this shirt made by Lorenzo Ariola on his That's All Funny podcast. We also do a collab tits and areola every Tuesday. You can go check it out on his channel. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. Movie starts with pain and he's making some skin, but unfortunately the skin is very unstable underneath light at the 99 minute mark. Why 99 minutes? Look, I ain't a science, okay? I don't understand the full science behind it, but 99 minutes is very crucial. You gotta remember this information. There's also some bad dudes being like, I wanna look for this thing. Oh, let's go to this lab. Maybe the thing here. And guess who's at this lab? Peyton. All oh, this terrible, rude people be like, where's the thing at? Peyton be like, I don't know, man. And then these people be like, oh, well, because you don't understand the answers, let me dip your face into a vat of acid. And I'm like, this is incredibly rude. This is no way to treat just an, any person. Just because they don't got the answers for you, don't mean you gotta treat them with disrespect, okay? On top of that, we have Peyton having to deal with the fire in his face. Ooh, he was about to stop that fire, but nothing stops this fire and his body gets torched. He's in the hospital. His lovely fiance is like, oh, he's dead. Oh, I'm not even going to go check on him. Ah, I'm going to just go to his funeral and let the cops do whatever they want and do all the investigation that they want because they're so amazing and good at their job that they totally didn't notice Peyton slipping, by the way, because actually they suck and didn't catch Peyton and everyone sucks for not even trying to attempt to look for Peyton. I think this movie is ultimately about how Peyton is not loved and no one loves Peyton and he has to reconcile with that. He's all bandaged up, he's all bloodied up, and he no look good. He don't look no good. He kind of looks a little off. Maybe it's the vat of acid that did it, or maybe it's the third and fourth degree burns all over his body. And the medical procedure to make sure he doesn't feel any of it is a little bit sketchy. I'm no doctor. I'm no science. It seems that cutting a nerve pathway to get rid of all pain is a double-edged sword. I mean, there is the fact that you can't feel pain at all, which when I was a lot younger, I was hoping that I would have that superpower and not be able to feel any pain because I thought pain was very pesky and annoying. But as an adult, I understand pain. It's supposed to tell you that, yo, we got a broken leg. Don't step on your broken leg, okay? But Peyton don't got that. So he can just endure all pain and not have to deal with any consequences, even if he does actually have to deal with it, like having a permanently broken leg. He doesn't know that he has a permanently broken leg, so does it really matter? I felt really sad when Peyton didn't get to talk to the lady friend. He's just running through the rain and during the night is like, hey, let me touch you, unprovoked. Hey, it's me, hey, it's me. Of course she's going to be very upset. Maybe you should go to her when she's not in the dark, not alone, not in the rainy day. Stop that, stop being creepy. Of course he's sad. What else is he gonna do? He's living on the streets? Will he turn to a life of vigilante justice? I mean, he'll help out in whatever way that he can, but it doesn't seem like his ultimate goal and intention is to save anyone, really. It's just to survive and be with his girl. Still haven't forgotten about the thing that they came for at the very beginning, that they pester Peyton about. Why Peyton is even like this at all. They're still looking for that. But it seems like Peyton is actually gonna go after the guy who's looking for it and trying to steal and all that fun jazz. I don't particularly care for its importance. Oh, it's all important and such. I don't care. Have you ever considered hugging your mom instead? It seems like none of these characters have any intimate relationships in their lives. It's quite troubling how much talk of murder, death, kill there is. 
But Peyton's the type to be like, okay, I know how violent I am now. I know how vicious I can be. I gotta stay away from my chick or else I'm going to be mean and vicious and violent towards her, which I admire about his character. This guy is contemplating, oh, I have to stop seeing her because I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt her. You don't have any self-control, guy. You don't have enough self-control to not hurt her. How about instead you enjoy your life with her? Oh, disfigurement. Oh, she's not gonna like me when she sees my face boiling. And I have to wear the mask on it for 99 minutes and have a whole timer, have a whole watch, and not even pay attention to her. Try to even have a remotely a nice life with her for two days. And for two days, putting up pretenses and oh my goodness, all of it's compounding. What will I do? Peyton just ultimately wants to be with the chick and then when Payne finally gets up to her with no face mask whatsoever that chick be like yeah, I want to do it too oh, stay away and then like he's off on his own and then she's like oh well actually I don't want to be with you again but this is the coolest ending line that I've ever seen I am dark man hear me roar Right, that's literally the last line. For real, I am not lying or making that up. This movie was weird. This movie was goofy. It was interesting. Sam Raimi, yeah, I could see it in a lot of the editing choices. There's a montage that reminded me a lot of like Spider-Man, like the Spider-Man suit design montage. I thought that was pretty cool. There's a lot of elements of Sam Raimi in this. I don't think this is one of Sam Raimi's best works, but it's good. I mean, it's good to have this be your worst work in my opinion, because this was actually not like the worst thing. I actually enjoyed this. There was a lot of devastating moments. There was a lot of punches, bam, big old explosion. Very memorable in my brain. Also, the weird sequences of the characters interacting with each other, uh, kind of forgettable. There are some points where I forgot some of the movie because it was either too similar to another scene like back to back or like nothing super significant happens like emotional wise versus like in Spider-Man 2 for example also Sam Raimi that I've also done a review on every moment is very impactful and so I'm able to remember that movie a lot more this one just seems like pretty good it was enjoyable. I like Darkman, I feel bad for him, but there's also some points where I'm like, wait, wouldn't you feel, oh, I guess you can't feel anything, so you wouldn't know that there's a bunch of water hitting your back, like a, a river gushing onto your back. You wouldn't care, you just want to look at the cool pool draining. I would do, I would too if I were in that situation. The movie is very dark. There's a lot of dark moments. Sometimes it is so dark, it's a little bit hard and difficult to understand what's going on. But overall, I felt this movie was pretty weird and wacky and fun. So I gotta give this movie a 6.7 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone. You know, the ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I haven't reviewed on a channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. If you very close to the movie in the comments below, you can do that. You can fast track a movie review. Patreon.com slash ASU presents $20 a month for one movie review per one month, $3 a month, how to draw Pokemon tutorials. Posted it early and first all at patreon.com slash ASU presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews, you can go to this link tree find the way that you can help support the daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews so you can go here and until next time in Saw, i'll see you later my sakura bacon bits